live from France. It's Nicholas Slamini. Welcome back to the show. Hey, Dan. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Um, <laughs> I'm just a little sad that I'm not actually doing the interview in studio because then I can't get uh, I can't get any goodies. Uh, from you guys. <laughs> well, look, you know you're always welcome here, but I think given the choice of sitting in a studio with me or getting to ride the Tour de France, I think I know which one you'd probably choose. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> the, tour, the Tour would be... Uh... Yeah, we'd rather be. There's we'll been be. so much excitement here in South Africa about you making it into the team for the Tour de France. I know it's something you've dreamt of for a long time, but what was it like when you finally got the call and you knew that this was going to be your year? It was very emotional, to be honest. It was very, very emotional. Uh, yeah, I think with the tour, like, you can never be too confident, um, even though you're in a long list. Uh, so yeah, I just was waiting and um, was very nervous. So when I got the call, I was uh, really over the moon. I mean, it is a life-changing experience for me, and uh, you know, it, it always has been my childhood dream to do the Tour de France, and uh, to finally live the dream now is uh, is really a phenomenal feeling. Uh, cycling teams are interesting spaces because uh, not everybody understands that you you all have different roles within the team. Uh, some people are there to help out, others are given a shot at winning stages and winning jerseys. What's your role for the Tour de France? Um, you, yeah, it's actually an interesting one. Um, so if you look at the team that we've got for the Tour, uh, so we're basically going with a, with a slight different strategy than um, what the team has always had uh, in the other years. So we're going to be racing very aggressively. Um, so we've got uh, good guys for, the, for those kind of races, you know, getting, getting into breakaways and getting a result from a breakaway. And obviously we've got uh, guys for GC and now um, can finish high up in the in the GC. So um, yeah, on, on the high mountains we'll be supporting him, and uh, on the other stages we'll be going out there, going in the breakaways, and um, and trying to get stage wins from the breakaway. I think uh, the the guys that um, did the Giro um, made a good example of um, of the strategy we're actually following now. Um, going breakaways every day um, and getting uh, stage wins from breakaways. So we're basically not trying to carry that. I know that the Giro was a great success. It's such a small team, and yet you guys managed to over-deliver and, and outperform people regularly. How much confidence is there in this Tour de France team based on what a good year it's been and, in particular, how well the Giro went? Uh... There's quite a lot of confidence, to be honest. Um, I think it's also we don't have a lot of pressure, so we're going to the we're going to the race with a clear mind, open mind. Um, normally, when you sort of don't put pressure in yourself, that's when you get to really deliver. So um, yeah, we're just going to go out and uh, and do the best we can, and um, and always try and get ourselves on the front foot. Of Right. Nicholas, I remember your last time on the show, you spoke about how much it meant to you to be inspiring your community. You're now inspiring an entire country. What does it mean to Nicholas Slamini to be the first black South African rider on the Tour de France? To be honest, it, it means quite a huge amount to me because, you know, growing up in a township, I never really had their own model that come from the township and uh, and I wanted to be one so that all the youngsters uh, in the township now can actually um, at least get to see a bit of light, you know, so I really hope uh, this will change their lives as well, you know, become a, a reference of hope and obviously so that they can know with hard work, you can actually achieve your dream. 
and you know, growing up in a township, I've always wanted to be a role model that leads by example. And now going into the tour, uh, I want to go there and do the best I can uh, and make South Africa proud. But yeah, I really, I really hope that um, it can bring good light to the kids in the township. That's, uh, it speaks to what you do, what Team Quebec Asos does, uh, supporting Quebec, supporting the Laurier Sport for Good Foundation, as you do. Uh, you talk about wanting to make us proud. Well, Nicholas, you already have. Uh, you've long since gone past that marker, uh, but I know it's only going to increase over the next few weeks. Best of luck. Enjoy the Tour de France. Uh, try and fight off those butterflies on day one. And all I'm going to say in closing is without putting any pressure on you at all, I think you'd look rather good in yellow, Mr. Dlam. Meaning. Thank you. I think, uh, yeah, the, the best color in the show is that yellow one. So uh, I think it would look good uh, in any of my teammates, or even myself. <laughs> Oh, good luck. Enjoy it. And, and well done. It's a much deserved place on the race. And I know you're going to revel in it. So all the best, Nick. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Tonight